All right, everybody. So we've got the uh, we got the low loss cable all finished up. We've got the cool runner resistors pulled off, and this is where we're gonna place it right here. Peel the uh, the paper sticker off the back. Stick it down right there. Uh, I already paused once and and read the or programmed this cool runner, so mine is already programmed. But I'll I'll cover later how to how to go about programming it while it's installed in the console anyway. Uh, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna attach all of our wires to the to the cool runner. All right. Grab a little bit of flux here. Put some flex on the some uh, flex paste on there. Get it ready. Now, I'm also uh, sort of prepping on this as well. So I've already floated some solder onto each one of my pads that I need to use, but. Go ahead and do it again so that you can see it. Refresh the solder anyway. These are all the points that we're going to be using during this install. Yeah. Up first, we're gonna have our orange wire, our red wire. This is the 3B3 power wire. Uh, next, we got the black for ground. Skip point A. So we're not using point A. Point B is the orange wire. Point C is going to be our yellow wire. That's where things get a little bit trickier. That's our uh, our low loss cable. So for the time being, I'm going to skip that and jump right over to point E, which is our green wire. Uh, it's going to have to be trimmed down here in a moment. Now, lastly, it's supposed to be the brown wire. I have a half dozen uh, cool runner rib C's here and every one of them is missing the brown wire for the fat install. Uh, so I'm gonna, I just pre-trimmed a, uh, a blue wire here. And I'm gonna use that instead of brown. So as far as this install goes, I'm using a blue in the place of the brown. So you want to uh, uh, just bear that in mind. Plus, if you get robbed your brown wire as well, then you're probably doing the same thing. Uh, uh, since I've soldered on both sides at this point, I'm going to just throw a little bit more flux on there. Oh, you know what? Do myself a favor. Clean up all this. Residue. 
I'm a little heavy on my flex pace. A few people have given me grief about that. I think I've mentioned it probably in one of my videos anyway. Uh, I use a little excessively. Try and get this stuff cleaned up right away. As it dries on, it gets pretty hard to scrape off. And long term exposure is harmful to the circuitry. Alright, now that we got all the wires soldered in place, uh, well, no, I'm doing a, uh, a direct wire install because uh, the, the uh, QSBs are, <coughs> are not compatible, so the new QSBs have not been released yet. If they were, I'd be using them. I like the, the looks of the QSBs, they're very appealing. Throwing just a little more flex on point D. Point D is your low loss. What you're gonna do here is uh, put a solder in place. Now, you got the low loss attached. Now you get it grounded as well. Alright. Take just a little bit of flex pace. And we go to this back side uh, tab right here. Just apply a bit of flex pace there. Come in and just put a little bit of solder right there on the end. Now I'm going to hook our, our grounding wire right here around. And solder it right there to that tab. Throw a little bit more solder on my iron. There we go. So we've got our low loss grounded there pretty solidly. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing here. with uh, the ground wire coming off the cool runner 
So far, I'm going to bring it to the next tab over.